The government gave me four million. I'll just put it on private so no one uses me for my money. Wow, this is a very big school. Yes, this is a school for rich people's children. Oh, I see. You can only enter class in one condition. What condition? You have to have at least 500k. What kind of school requires this much money? From your answer, I already know you're poor. Ah, it hurts. Let go. Hey, what are you doing? You don't have to interfere. This new kid is poor. He only has 200k. He deserves to be tortured. So people at the school are beaten for having little money. Hey, your name's Amara, right? Why did you seem concerned about that new kid earlier? Actually, what's your balance? 20,000. Why? I guessed. You have to leave this class now. I don't want to. You slapped me? I can do whatever I want. I'm the richest kid in school. True, she is. Don't mess with her. Let's go to the canteen. Oh, I forgot. You're poor. You can't afford food here. It's only for rich people. You want me to buy food for you? What are you gonna do? Borrow money of people? <laughs> she thinks she can buy food for us all. Keep dreaming. Why are you sitting here? Because it's my seat. It doesn't matter. I want to sit here today, so you have to leave. I don't want to. Amara, quickly, step aside. She's the richest girl in school. You have to listen to what she says. Why doesn't she sit on her own seat? Why does she have to sit here? Amara, enough is enough. Do what she says. That's it. I'm putting my balance on public. Look at the poor girl. Did you just finish robbing a bank? Maybe she got a sugar What? Dye. No, this is my original balance. Did you guys see? Apparently Amara's balance now is higher than Jenna. Shut up, all of you. She probably robbed the bank. I'm still the richest girl in school. It's not even her money. Amara, admit it. Where did you get the money from? I told you. The money's from the government. The government? I knew it. You're a thief. You stole money from the what government. What the heck? No, they gave it to me. I'm going to report you to the government. Come with me now. Where are you taking me? This is going to end now. You want to report me? The government man is my dad. Sir, I would like to report... What's wrong, honey? You want to report me? The government man is my dad. Sir, I would like to report... What's wrong, honey? Honey? Yes, that's my daughter. See, I told you. The government is my dad. Amara, you're expelled from school. Well, but what did I do wrong? Kelly told me you're stealing money from the government and we don't accept thieves in school. I'm not stealing anything. It was given to me. I don't believe you. Sorry. Pack your things. Amara, I want to tell you a big secret about Kelly, but you have to transfer me 300,000. Okay, I'll transfer it now. Okay. What's the secret? I've been friends with Kelly since childhood, so I know everything about her. She's dating someone's husband. Wait, what? Yeah, because he's rich and he gives her money. I have proof. Where? If you want proof, you have to give me another 100,000. All right, fine. Okay, this is it, Amara. Oh my gosh, it's true. Kelly's dating someone's husband. Kelly, I know you told our teacher that I'm a thief, and I'm going to make you regret it. And what are you going to do? I'm going to tell our teacher that you're only rich because you're dating someone else's husband. What the heck, Amara? Don't mess with me. Amara, if you need more proof, let me know. Oh, so you're the one who revealed my secret. Yeah, you don't give me money anymore, so why should I be your friend? Miss, I have proof that Kelly's lying to you. I have a photo of her dating someone's husband. Wait, what? Where did you get these photos from? Why? No way. This is a photo of my husband. Your husband? Everyone, be quiet. Miss, why are you so angry? You, quickly pack your things. You're expelled from school. You can't do that. Did you forget I'm the richest girl in class? You're not rich. That's all my husband's money. Amara, I'm sorry I doubted you. You've been telling the truth all along. It's okay, miss. Guys, don't be happy just yet. Amara's a thief and I'm going to prove it. Are you crazy? <clears throat> Excuse me? Dad? Kelly, you'll receive a punishment for all of this. No, sir, don't. Catch her. No, let go of me. Amara, wait, you got the spade symbol. Spade symbol? What do you mean, mom? Yes, the symbol on your cheek. The government is holding a game for all the people in this country. And those who win this game will get unlimited money. I think this game is quite interesting. What game is that? The point is, we have to tell them what symbol we got. And if we get it wrong, we get shot in the head. Wait, what? Shot? Does that mean if I guess it wrong, I die? Yep, that's the consequence. But mum, isn't it easy to tell what symbol I have on my face? I can just look at myself in the mirror and see what symbol I got. No, you can't, because they've destroyed and removed all mirrors, glass, and any reflection in the world, even water. Huh? They even removed water? What if I'm 
thirsty and I want to drink. If you're thirsty, you're just going to have to eat fruits, like a watermelon. I swear this game doesn't make any sense. It's like the government wants to kill us all. No, the aim of this game is money. Imagine having unlimited money. We can buy whatever we want. Anyway, you have to go to school now. You're going to be late. But mom... Before you go, can you tell me what symbol I got on my face? Yeah, it's a red heart. Okay, thank you so much, honey. I still don't get it. What's the purpose of this game? Hey, Amara, you got a spade too? It's the same huh? as my symbol. Your symbol is a diamond. Who told you it was a spade? Diamond? Are you serious? Yes, it's a diamond. Who said spade? My twin sister. Huh? Your twin sister? You know how much she hates you. Why would you believe anything she says? And besides, you do know that if you get it wrong, you'll be shot straight away, right? I know she hates me, but why would she want me dead? I can't believe You're she You're so naive. To me. Anyway, from now on, just ask me. I won't lie to you. Please make your way to the rooms. One person, one room. Got it? It's already started. All right, now answer what symbol is on your cheek. Um, spade. Amara, I'm still alive because of you. I swear, I owe you my life. One day I'll repay you. No, it's fine. I'm happy that you're safe. But this game seems too easy. How do we even win? We need to find the king of this game to win. The king of this game? Yes, if we know who the king is and lie to him about his symbol, he'll automatically die but and we'll get all his how money. do you know who the king is? I don't know. All I know is we have to find him. Sis, the symbol on your cheek is a heart. Isn't that your twin brother? Your symbol is a club. Why is he saying a heart? I don't know. Round number two will start soon. Please, all of you, go to your room. Round two already started. I need to go. By the way, the symbol on your cheek is a club, not a heart, okay? Thank you. And yours is a spade again. Okay, thank you so much. Second round. Now answer. What is the symbol on your cheek? Um, spade. Huh? What was that sound? Whoa, someone just died. Seriously, this game really kills people, doesn't hey, it? earlier I saw you lie to your twin about her symbol. Don't tell me you did this to test if the game was real or not. I mean, yeah, but I didn't think it would be real. You're really dangerous, you know that. Don't tell me you're the... Don't tell me you're the king. Me? What? No, I'm on your side. I want to find the king as much as you do. I think we should work together, and when we find the king, we can split the money at the end. Okay, fine. I'll tell you your symbol, and you tell me mine. Okay, deal. <sighs> I'm so tired. Dad, what are you doing in my room? And who's that? Are you cheating on mom? Look, honey, it's not what it looks like. Please don't say anything to your mom. Good morning, honey. I've made breakfast for you. That's a fast. Are you doing all this so I don't tell mom you cheated on her? No, look, could you just tell me what symbol I have on my cheek today? Yeah, it's a diamond. A diamond. Okay, thank you. His symbol is actually a heart. The third round will start in five minutes. Please go to your assigned rooms. This early in the morning? Don't forget, honey, your symbol is a spade. Okay, dad, and don't forget, yours is a diamond. I won't. See you soon. Third round. Now answer what symbol is on your cheek. Spade. Ha! Die, you cheater. How could he lie to my mom and cheat on her like that? In my room too. And think I'm not going to lie to him about his symbol. Hey Amara, I have news about the king. Someone said that the king actually goes to our school. Are you serious? Who did you hear that from? Some girls. One girl actually knows someone in the government. She said the king's actually a girl and she's the same really? age as Really? I wouldn't have guessed that at all. Me neither, but let's just be careful. Whoa, how come there's only a few people at our school? Most people got eliminated by their own family members. Because as you know, round three started early today and everyone's still at home. So we're lucky that we're still alive. Yes, I'm alive because of you. Yesterday you told me what symbol I had. Round four is about to start. Please enter your assigned room. Hurry up, what's my symbol? It's a club. Fourth round, now answer. What symbol is on your cheek? Club. More and more people are dying. Oh shoot, I forgot to tell Joe what his symbol is. I hope he's okay. Joe? Hey Amara, we're still alive. Oh my gosh, Joe, you almost gave me a heart attack. Why didn't you ask me what your symbol was? I did, you answered me. You did? Yes, your symbol now is a spade. Thank you, yours is a spade too. There's only three of us left. That means it's one of us three. It's Jessica. No, it's Joe. He lied to me earlier about my symbol. Round five starts now. Please enter your room. It's already started. Fifth round. Now answer what symbol is on your cheek. Spade. Whoa, two shots. That means they all died. I won. 
Knowing people's age or knowing people's name Usually it's easier to know people's name and people lie about their age all the time. So I choose age Morning mom, happy birthday. Whoa, you remember my birthday? I'm surprised. How old are you gonna be mom? You forgot? What? No, you're gonna be 40 years old. Thank you for remembering. Here, have some pocket money. Thanks, mom. Hey, um, how are you? I'm okay, just a bit stressed. Wait, you're 19 years old? How is that even possible? We're all 17 in class. Did you forget that I had to retake the same class twice because of my grades? Oh yeah, true. I totally forgot. Sorry if I hurt your feelings. Good morning, children. Please welcome our new student. Whoa, it's a girl. I really want her to join our group, don't you? But wait a minute, if she's not 17, I don't want her in our group. You two, just calm down. I can tell if she's 17 or not. Really? Hello, everyone. My name is Tasha. Hey, do you want to join our group? Are you sure you want to ask her that? Guys, but we still don't know if she's older than us or if she's younger than us. Then hurry up and check. Um, why isn't her age showing up? Sorry guys, but I can't see her age. Oh, great. But that's so strange. No, what's strange is how all the boys are crushing on her. I mean, she's really pretty, but I still don't understand how I can't see her age. Oh yes, I remember reading in a book that if you're struggling to see someone's true age, you just have to knock them out. Knock them out? Do you want me to get kicked out of school? But if I don't hit her, I'll never know her real age. Alright, fine. I'll slap Tasha. Good. Now, where is she? We need to find her. I think she might be surrounded by all the guys as usual. Let's look for her in the hall. Hey, what are you two doing here? Yes, what are you doing here? Don't get close to Tasha. Guys, relax. I'm her classmate. I just wanted to ask her about the task we got in class. Oh, okay. Just a moment. I heard you were looking for me. Finally! Hurry up, because we don't have much time. Amara, do it now! <sighs> Amara, do it now! <sighs> come on, come on! Hey, how dare you slap Tasha like that? Yes, how dare you? We're gonna make you regret this. Come with us. Wait! You can't slap Tasha again, do you understand? Why do you care about her so much? Because she's pretty. So you only like her because she's pretty? You guys are crazy! So, what happened? I tried slapping Tasha, but nothing happened. We need to come up with a different plan. Uh, where are you going? Nowhere, I was just... Since you have nothing to do, help me clean my desk. I think the teacher knows my plan. He's trying to distract me to not find out Tasha's age. If you don't do it, I'll reduce your no, grades. No, sir, please. If you reduce my grades, I won't be able to complete the next semester. That's right, so start cleaning now. Fine. Amara, how come you're cleaning the teacher's he desk? He said he'd reduce my grades if I didn't. Oh, anyway, I found out another way to know Tasha's age. How? You have to make her eat an apple, apparently. It helps to see how old she really is. Alright, thank you so much for letting me know. Mom, I'm home. Honey, there's a friend of yours waiting in the living room. Hurry up, she's been waiting for a long time. Wait, are you sure it's a friend of mine? I mean, no, I've never seen her before, but she's very funny and cute. Funny and cute? Yeah, she's really pretty too. We had nothing in the fridge, so I gave her an apple to eat. Alright, let me go see who it is. Mmm, this is really delicious. Where did you get this apple, Tasha? Did you just eat the apple? Yeah, why? Yes, it's starting to appear. I wonder what number it will stop at. I'm gonna find out how old you are really soon. I'm 17 years old, just like you. Oh yeah? But I don't believe you. Don't worry, your age will soon appear. It stopped at 17. Yes, that's my age, see? Hello, everyone. Quickly open the door, Amara. Why don't we just break in? Good idea. Three, two, one. Why would you just break my door like that? Hello, bodyguards. Don't worry about me. I'm doing okay. Don't hurt our Tasha. Why did you come all the way here for? We want to pick up Tasha because we thought she was in trouble. Yeah, we were so scared and ran here immediately. You guys, just calm down. I'm doing fine. In fact, I'm really happy because a couple of minutes ago, I had the most delicious apple of my life. I'm pretty sure she's not actually 17 years old. This is not her real age. How do you feel? Have you managed to see her age yet? I did. It says she's 17, but I can't believe it. I think there might be an error in the system. Someone's calling me with an unknown number. Who could it be? Just pick up. 
Hello, Amara. Let's have dinner tonight. Who is this? Oh my gosh, you don't recognize my voice? The age is not appearing. You must be Tasha, right? Yes, I'll send you the full address later, okay? Don't forget to come. Okay. I wonder what she's up to. Is this her house? Whoa, it's really big. No wonder she's spoiled. Hey, Amara, come in. What room is that? Why is the shape strange? Oh, that's where I uh, have my clothes. You have a whole room for clothes? Let me see. No, we're still um, renovating it. Okay. Let's go get food. I'm starting to get hungry. Yeah, sure. But um, before we eat, I just need to quickly go to the toilet. Okay, now that she's gone, I'm going to quickly explore this room. Three, two, one. Tasha? Oh, it's Tasha's friend. Please feel free to come in. I'm Tasha's Hello, mom. nice to meet you. Why do you look so young? Oh, stop it. You're so kind. You're 20 years old? How? That's impossible. Isn't Tasha 17? Actually, Tasha is... How? This is impossible. Isn't Tasha 17? Actually, Tasha is... Mom, what are you talking about? Nothing. I was just saying hi to your friend. What are you doing uh, here, Mara? I was just lost. I couldn't find the toilet. You should have told me. I would have helped you. I have to change the subject. Yeah, true. Could you please show me where it is? Yeah, come with me. <sighs> Finally, thank you for showing me where your toilet was. That's fine. Here, have some snacks. What? Only this? I thought we were going to eat an expensive meal because, you know, you're rich. Just be thankful I gave you something. I can't believe I still haven't found out how old she is. How difficult could it be? What's wrong? Huh? Where did you get that book from, Mom? It was delivered by the postman. How come it doesn't have a sender's name? This book is mine. Anyways, thanks for picking it up. Where's Tasha today? Class, Tasha didn't come to school today because she's sick. But yesterday she was feeling fine, sir. She showed me a letter from the doctor, so I believe her. I have to go to her house again after school. Hello, excuse me. I'm here to visit Tasha. Uh, Amara? Yes, can I come in? Um, I don't know. I mean, Tasha's really sick. I don't think she wants to see anyone. Well, I brought her soup. Can I at least come in and give it to her? Yeah, sure. Tasha? Tasha, where are you? Oh, there you are. Amara, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. Mom, did you let her in? Yes, she said she brought you soup. Wait, this whole time it turns out... It turns out you're 90 years old? Uh, I'm so embarrassed. I'm never going to school again. Who even are you? Well, are you going to tell her the truth or should I? Mom, please. Basically, our family made this potion to make us look younger. But since you slapped her yesterday, the potion isn't working on her anymore. And now she can never be young again. <gasps> Don't you ever even try to use those words to speak. Do you understand? You've gained another 500,000 words this year? This is ridiculous. Don't you dare speak. Why do you look so happy for? Are you planning on using them? You better not. Look, it's the loser that has zero words. Freak. Hey, you're the girl with zero words, right? Can I sit next to you? If I was you, I wouldn't. She doesn't even speak. I don't care about that. Oh, don't mind that. We don't belong there. That's an annual tradition. They gather all the girl students with over 5 million words. People believe that the lost princess is destined to have millions of words. Where are you going? Oh, don't mind that. We don't belong there. That's an annual tradition. They gather all the girl students with over 5 million words. People believe that the lost princess is destined to have millions of words. Where are you going? Excuse me, miss. How many words do you have? Don't bother asking her. I don't even know why she's here. She has zero words. We all know I'm the lost princess. I have nine million words. What? You can speak? This is ridiculous. I mean, she's clearly not the lost princess. She's been lying about her words this whole time. Be quiet. You, come with me. We need to scan your finger in order to see if you have 8.9 million words. Place your finger here. Whoa, you weren't lying. You really do have 8.9 million words. Please come back tomorrow for the final exam. Thank you. Did you use your words today? Answer me. Yeah, I did. You think this is a game? You don't know what you just done. I'm the lost princess, aren't I? I'm the real princess, aren't I? You're hilarious. You really think a girl like you could be the lost princess? That's actually really sad. Now go to your room. You're not my real mom. A mother would never treat her child like this. You're right. I'm not your mom. And I wouldn't want to be either. 
Why would you take me away from my parents? What did you need? Money? I don't care about your money. I want your words. I'm turning 60 at midnight, and we all know that once you turn 60, you stop receiving I'm not words. giving you any of my words. Too bad you don't have a choice. I'm gonna steal every single one of your words. Now go to your room. I'll call you at midnight. I can't let her take my words. I need to get out of here. I'm alright. It's almost midnight. Come downstairs. I'm ready to receive my words. There you are. Thanks for saving millions of words for me. Aw, oh, your little boyfriend's here to save you. Don't you dare open that door. I'll hurt him. Don't worry, I'll let you both go. Just drink this first. I wonder how many mistakes I've made. Huh? Zero? That means I've never done anything wrong, right? I'll just put it on private so that my friends don't think I'm arrogant. You're the one who let my food burn in the oven, right? I told you to take it out on time. No, it wasn't me, mom. Why do you always accuse me? I know you have a lot of mistakes. That's why you put on private, right? No, I put on private because... Stop making excuses. Excuse me, sir. Am I in this class? Well, it depends. How many mistakes do you have? Um, a hundred. That means you're in the lowest class. Class D. Class D? Why is class A empty? Apparently, only one person can enter class A. It's the person with zero mistakes. They'll give that person something special. Something special? Like what? Don't worry about it, because it's definitely not you. You're the one who stole all the exam answers. <gasps> no, sir, it wasn't me. She's lying. Her mistakes are private. I'm sure she just says that to not get accused. That's not true. You're all wrong. Okay, if you didn't cheat, make your mistakes on public to prove yourself. <sighs> okay, sir. She must have a lot of mistakes. How comes it's not working? Right, you must be lying then. But sir, my mistakes are on zero. That's it, I'm giving you a detention. I'm gonna give you 10 assignments. I'll collect them tomorrow. Make sure you do all of them, okay? Mom, look, the teacher gave us 10 assignments. Good, maybe you'll erase some of your mistakes since you have so many. But I don't think I've ever done anything wrong. I'm ashamed of you. Our neighbors are talking about you all the time and how bad you are. Fix yourself. Yes, mom. Amara, what are you cooking? It's burnt. Oh, I forgot to turn off the stove. You keep making mistakes. I'm tired. But how comes my mistakes aren't increasing? Sis, why can't the number of my mistakes be published? The number of your mistakes are zero, right? How do you know? I haven't told you yet. Because mine's the same, although I do mistakes all the time. But why can't we put ours on public like everyone else? Because no one's supposed to know that we make mistakes and still have zero mistakes. If they find out about this error, they'll fix it and we'll be just like everyone else. Okay, well, good thing it didn't work because I tried putting mine on public. You tried putting yours on public? Oh no. What? It usually takes 24 hours before it goes public. Wait, what? You need to help me. How do I remove it? I don't want mine to go on public. Don't worry, I know a guy. This is the guy you know? He's a kid. Hey, don't be rude, otherwise I won't help. Okay, fine. Hey, drink this. It should reset your decision. So, did it work? Yep, all you need to do is pick private and you should be fine. Okay, now every time you get that option, just continue to press private. Like that, your number will never be public. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, if you didn't cheat, make your mistakes on public to prove yourself. She must have a lot of mistakes. How comes it's not working? Right, you must be lying then. But sir, my mistakes are on zero. That's it, I'm giving you a detention. I'm going to give you 10 assignments. I'll collect them tomorrow. Make sure you do all of them, okay? Mom, look, the teacher gave us 10 assignments. Good, maybe you'll erase some of your mistakes since you have so many. But I don't think I've ever done anything wrong. I'm ashamed of you. Our neighbors are talking about you all the time and how bad you are. Fix yourself. Yes, Mom. Amara, what are you cooking? It's burnt. Oh, I forgot to turn off the stove. You keep making mistakes. I'm tired. But how comes my mistakes aren't increasing? Sis, why can't the number of my mistakes be published? The number of your mistakes are zero, right? How do you know? I haven't told you yet. Because mine's the same, although I do mistakes all the time. But why can't we put ours on public like everyone else? Because no one's supposed to know that we make mistakes and still have zero mistakes. If they find out about this error, they'll fix it and we'll be just like everyone else. Okay, well, good thing it didn't work because I tried putting mine on public. 
You tried putting yours on public? Oh no. What? It usually takes 24 hours before it goes public. Wait, what? You need to help me. How do I remove it? I don't want mine to go on public. Don't worry, I know a guy. This is the guy you know? He's a kid. Hey, don't be rude. Otherwise, I won't help. Okay, fine. Hey, drink this. It should reset your decision. So, did it work? Yep, all you need to do is pick private and you should be fine. Okay, now every time you get that option, just continue to press private. Like that, your number will never be public. Okay, thank you so much. You have to get class A. It will make our family very valuable. Okay, I'm gonna check now. Three, two, one. Wow, I got class C, mom. Oh no, that's not good. What's wrong? Hurry up, I have to fake your class before you embarrass our family. Okay, mom. Hopefully no one will know and it will look like you got class A. What class are you in, Emily? I'm in class C. It's true that poor people like us are never appreciated. Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm in class A. Huh? How come? I don't know. I was also surprised this morning. Yeah, if that's the case, we'll be in separate classes. Emily said you got class A. Yeah, that's right. Nice to meet you all. Where does your parents work? Uh, oh my gosh, my parents don't own a company. What the heck, Jake? Maybe she doesn't want to say it. Yeah, that's right. I don't want to say. Your parents must be very important. Okay, class, this is our first lesson. Please take out your cell phone. Cell phone? I only brought a paper and a pen. That can't be right. Everyone got cell phones when they received the letter A. Oh, right. Sorry, sir. Um, mine broke. It's okay, sir. I can share mine with Amara. Okay, if you don't mind. You're lucky I saved you. Yes, thank you so much. Let's go to the canteen. I'm really hungry. Why are you going to the canteen? Our food is delivered to the school by a helicopter. A helicopter? And there it is. The food's already here. Mom? Hey, honey. I came to bring you some food. I'm so scared. If I get caught, they'll put me in prison. Calm down. Everything is safe and under control. You just have to go with the flow. Okay, if you say so. Class A, please make your way to the dining room. I have to go, Mom. I was looking for your food, but your name wasn't there. Oh, don't worry. I already got it. I think the teacher's assumptions were true. What assumption? You're not really at class A, are you? <laughs> I'm just joking. Why are you so scared? Now that you've finished eating, we're going to bring in all your parents, so please be nice to everyone. Why are you bringing our parents, sir? So everyone can get to know each other better. I can't wait to meet your parents, Amara. Me too. They must be really important. Everyone's parents are here except Amara's. Where are your parents? Um, maybe they're busy. You look suspicious. I want you to erase the letter on your neck. But my class is still loading. What if I remove it and nothing shows? Okay, I'll remove it now, sir. Honey, wait! Huh? My mom's here. That means I don't need to remove my class mark, right? Yes, you're really lucky she showed up. Your mom is so cool. Please introduce us. Yes, I've never met or seen your mom before. Later, okay? I want to talk to my mom first. Mom, why is my class loading? That's because you were told to remove your letter by the teacher. I'm going to be so embarrassed if I don't get a class. Don't worry, honey. All you have to do is fake a class again. What? Turns out I've went up a class. I'm in class B now. You still need to fake it so you don't embarrass our family. Amara, what are you doing in the toilet? You're taking so um, long. Um, my stomach hurts. By the way, did you get your dress for tonight? Yeah. No, you haven't. You need to go get it quickly. It's only for class A people. I'm in class A. Do you have any clothes for me? Your name is Amara. Wait a minute. Let me find it. I know it's not going to be there. Psst. Who's calling me? Over here. Mom? Here's your dress. Don't tell anyone I gave it to you. But how did you get this? Isn't it expensive? Oh, I just borrowed it off a neighbor. Okay, every girl has to be paired with a guy. Um, all of us? Yes, all those who got class A has a partner. My partner's late. Who says I'm late? Who told you to come here? If they find out we're both not in class A, we'll be finished on the spot. I'm just following what your mom told me. My mom? Yes, she paid me three million to come. Three million? Weird, right? I thought you guys were poor. I'm pretty sure you're not in class A. I am, and besides, you don't have any proof, sir. I'll continue to push you until you confess. Why are you doing this? Because I care about you. Okay, it's time to go home. You'll all be picked up with sports cars by your parents. 
What sport car do um, you have, Amara? I don't know, because we have too many sport cars at home. Whoa, I think I only have a Ferrari. I have a Lamborghini. I definitely don't have a sport car. Why am I even waiting here to get picked up? Let me just leave. Get in the car, honey. Mom, aren't we poor? How do you have that car? Um, maybe it's time for me to tell you a story. What story? Actually, your dad is... Wait, is my dad still alive? Yes, I lied to you because I really hate him. Why do you look so tired? Because I am tired. I've been trying to fit in with class A for the whole day. Do you even realize how much hard work I've had to put in? Come on, honey. It's all worth it at the end. Everyone will know how valuable our family is. Okay, mom. Hey, Amara. How are you? I'm fine. It looks like you're really happy, huh? Yes, I'm so happy because I made a new friend in class C. That should have been my class. But you must be really happy in class A, right? Yeah, of course. So happy. Anyway, I have to go now because class is about to start. All students in class A has a special talent. Please tell us your talent. My talent is singing. I've won so many international competitions. Do I even have a talent? My talent is swimming. Next week, I'm going to America for a swimming competition. What's um, your talent, Amara? It's acting. I've been in so many TV shows and movies. Okay, class, we're going to be doing yoga. Yoga? Everyone in class knows that we do yoga. Why don't you? No, I do. I just thought I heard something else. Yes, our bodies are really flexible. My body's stiff as a rock. It's your turn, Amara. Please put your feet behind your back. Wait, sir, was that the fire alarm? Thank you, Mom. You saved me again. I didn't do anything. I just came here to bring you a cell phone. Car? You weren't responsible for the fire alarm? No. Okay, class, we'll be doing a test. Who doesn't have a cell phone? Why is everyone watching me? Do you not have one? No, we forgot ours at home. You're so lucky. I know you took that cell phone from school. You're stealing. <sighs> no, you can see for yourself. If I had stolen it, it would have had the school symbol, which it doesn't. I've had enough of you, young lady. <sighs> hey, you, don't speak to my daughter like that. Huh? Daughter? You're the principal's daughter? Yes, she is, and you're fired. Wait, you're my dad? Your class is S. <sighs> this must be the lowest class, right? No, class S is much higher than class A. That means you're the golden child. Golden child? What does that mean? Class S is only rewarded to the smartest person in school, and that's you. You should be very proud.